descriptions means the descriptions that appear for all the lines of the journal. For example, these are the journals received from Payables module. If we see one of the journals, you will see multiple lines of descriptions. For each line, there will be one line of description. In R2L, you can easily configure these descriptions for the requirement of the customer. So for doing that configuration, you have to first copy all the SLA components because the seeded components provided by Oracle cannot be modified by the users. So I'm first going to change or I'm going to copy all the SLA components. So let us go to payables and open the default subledger accounting method, which is standard accrual. Copy this method. This is a seeded method given by Oracle. I am going to use custom as the prefix, custom accrual. Then go to payables application accounting definition. The seeded definition is accrual basis. Go to AAD and copy the application accounting definition as well. Let us name it as custom accrual, custom AP accrual, let us call it. Once your custom AP accrual, for example, if you want to configure the description lines for invoices, that is the journals created for invoices, go to the event class invoices and go to general line definition and copy the same. Copy the definition and let us name it with the same convention, CUST, accrual, INV, let us make a short form or within a JLD there will be several journal line types for example you want to configure the description for the journal lines only for the item expense and not for the liability go to the line type and Copy the definition for line type as well. Once you are done with this, you should make the modifications as you need. So the journal line description used for the item expense journal line type is invoice distribution description. Let us open this and let us create a new one. Let us call it custom J line description. And here we can determine what all we want in the description. So for example, we want to display in each description line the number of the invoice. Invoice number. So this is the text that will be displayed. And below that you want to or after that you want to display the actual invoice number. Go to the source and select the source for invoice number. Invoice number from payables and save it. So 
So this is your new journal description name which can capture the invoice number text and an invoice number after that. Then create one more line here and you want to replace the item expense with the new GLT that you already copied. So use the custom item expense for invoices and use the new line description that you have created and use the same account derivation source for the same for that newly created journal line. So give the same rule name and remove the one that you replace. So item expense you, you have created a new one. So you should remove the original definition of the item expense. Save it. For invoices, this is the application accounting definition for invoices. Then go to the invoices event class and the original journal line definition should be substituted with the copied definition that you created and then remove the original definition. Save it. So go to journal line definition. This is the journal line type you have created. Open the journal line type and ensure to change the transport to GL to detail. Close this. Close this. Then substitute the payables AAD with the copied AAD that you created and open the application accounting definition and validate the same. Once you see that the validation status has changed to valid, Close the AAD, close these windows, go to journal ledger and change the subledger accounting definition in the accounting set manager for your ledger. By default, the standard accrual is used. We are going to change that to custom accrual. Query vision operations. Open the ledger options. Scroll down. Here you will see the standard accrual is in use. Change that to the one that you copied. And finish to save the change. Go back to payables and let us test with one journal. Let us create an invoice and create a journal for the same. Let us give 67001 is the invoice number and amount 16,500 and for the sake of simplicity let us use a distribution set ADV. Let us add a line save it and validate the same. If validation changes the item amount with tax, the total invoice amount needs to be updated in the header. 
so we have completed the copy sla components we created a journal line description two steps are completed we have validated the application accounting definition and we are now testing whether the journal line description appears as we configured update the amount validate again and run the create accounting with final post for the invoice view the request and you have to wait until the create accounting is finished so sla components we have already completed three steps we are in step 4 where we are testing a journal created from a payables invoice so we created a payables invoice we ran the create accounting we first validated it and then we will see the result so create accounting has triggered the journal import which will create a journal in the journal ledger capture this number to find your journal easily let us go to gl responsibility and find the journal review the journal and you will see that for item expense 16500 the description has been automatically captured as invoice number plus the actual invoice number concatenated with it so that is the first step which is testing journal line description i hope uh, you understand and this video will be helpful to you thank you bye bye